Hi, this is Javon, and I'm here with Monty Parman. How you doing, Monty? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm fine, and Monty is with May and Parman. Realtor, yes, ma'am. Real estate here in Lebanon. Yes, ma'am. And uh, I know, tell us what you cover. Well, insurance. Insurance. Real estate at auction. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that any time. <laughs> I, knew, I knew you wouldn't let me down with that. Uh, we're going to talk today a little bit about tips for selling your home. Okay. Now we got a lot of people out there where, you know, this is the time of the year when they want to make that move when it's warm. Yes. You know, if the kids are out of school, uh, there's, you know, a lot of stuff going on, but this is the time when they want to get that house ready to get it sold. What are some things they need to do? Just imagine that you are the buyer. Okay. Of a used car. Okay. Not a new car. And you go to the car lot. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing that catches your eye? That beautiful, well-kept, shiny, low-mileage car on the mm -hmm. lot. Uh -huh. Now, we don't have mileage on it. We don't have mileage readings on our homes, but the simple things you can do that don't cost a lot of money to make your home stand out are really simple. First of all, now first of all, I'm going to talk about how to make your home presentable. We'll talk about some other things as far as pricing in a minute. But simple things, get the yard trimmed and mowed. Mm -hmm. Get it, don't just run over it with a mower. Get it trimmed, get it edged. Get everything to where it looks neat. If you haven't done any landscape or mulching in a while, if you've got some big overgrown landscaping, get it out. I think that's called curb appeal, isn't that's it? That's called curb, curb appeal. appeal. Yes, indeed. A fresh mulch will make all the difference in the world. We're not talking about spending big money. I'm not talking about paying somebody several thousand dollars mm -hmm. to re-landscape your safe. Get rid of some of the overgrown stuff that dates your houses. Get a pressure washing service to come in and clean the house. Get all the siding clean good. And even if you're brick, the gutters and things, get them shining. Get anything piled around that doesn't look attractive out of the yard. Make mm -hmm. it to when they pull up, they go, wow, this home looks good. Now, Monty, when I pull up to a house and it has a really green lawn, everything well kept, and versus driving up to a home where we've got leaves still left in the yard from the winter. Yes. Hanging in the bushes. Yep. You know, it's it's a it's a no-brainer. No it, it's it's a no-brainer. And the thing is, when people see a home really well kept, mm -hmm. it's about like when you look at a car or anything else. You go, okay, this has been taken care of. This has right. been upkept. This has been maintained. That is the key to it. Is you know, just like you said, one of the big things is make sure all the last year's leaves are out of the mulch, they're out of the bushes, that uh, everything is swept and cleaned. You know, it, it's not where you have to spend a lot of money, but it's relatively easy to do and make it look that way. Make sure the driveway's free of clutter. Mm -hmm. If you've got an old automobile sitting around, get, or, get rid of it. If you've got an, anything like an old camper, old mm -hmm. things like that sitting around, get them gone. Yeah. Make your house, when the person pulls up, that they look around and they go, this is nice. And, and some of them say, well, I could live here today. I could move yes. in today. This is so pretty. I could, you know, th this is for me. Mm -hmm. And then when you go inside, you know, you, you see on a lot of these home shows in the big areas where they hire stagers. Uh, that is great, but, but you have to live in your home. Now, mm -hmm. in an empty home, you know, I, I would like to see someday that we did start having some of the staging around here. But if your home is occupied, just get rid of all of the extra stuff. You know, if you've got mm -hmm. an abundance of furniture, <laughs> and I've told people that. I said, you know, less furniture. Make the room feel big. I know you like it that way, but, you know, everybody mm -hmm. coming in is going to be judging room sizes. Right. If you've got a lot of furniture, it makes the room close in. Makes it look a lot smaller, doesn't it? Yeah. If, if everything, like having the home, having the home really clean, uh, you know, you don't necessarily have to replace carpets and floor coverings. But if they're really tattered and worn, let's replace them. If they just mm -hmm. need cleaning, let's get a professional carpet cleaning system in, floor cleaning system, and have it cleaned up. Uh, have the closets. They don't have to be perfect, but when you open the closets, you can actually see in the closet. Yeah. It's little things. Uh, get rid of, they call it decluttering. They call it depersonalizing. But mm -hmm. that, that's, a good, mm -hmm. that's a good way to make your home feel more appealing to a person. Uh, if you're showing your house this time of year, the sun's up about all the time, but mm -hmm. in the wintertime and the other times, have nice lighting. Mm -hmm. Have the lights on the tables on instead of all the bright lights overhead. Uh, kitchen area. Now, in the kitchen area, when you walk in, you want it to go boom. You want it everything bright. Mm -hmm. 
and and roomy looking on your countertops. A lot of people have the tendency to have stuff everywhere on their countertops. Get yeah. rid of all of that. Well, you know, Marty, I've seen homes where people are collectors of a certain type of uh, counterware or whatever, and they have every piece of it out on the counter, you know, for you to see. And that's for their enjoyment. Mm -hmm. But like you said, it's make not for the, you. Make it look like you have a lot of counter space. Make mm -hmm. the kitchen look open. The kitchen really needs to be lit up nicely to where when you walk mm -hmm. in, you go, wow, nice kitchen. You know, look at the nice floors, the, especially, you know. Um, and it all depends on the home. You know, people expect certain things in different price ranges at home, but take the assets you have and the amenities your home has and enhance them. Make them the best. If you've got smaller rooms, like I said, declutter, get mm -hmm. the excess furniture out. You know, if you've got a smaller living room, have a couch and a couple of chairs in it and a one or two end tables. Get everything else out. Yeah. Uh, if you've got a huge TV entertainment system, hey guys, the, the style of the day is the TV hanging on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> it makes the room look bigger. It's mm -hmm. just little things that, like, that you can do to really make your home sell quicker. And if you're selling a lot, if you're selling a farm, it's the same thing. Neat, nice mm -hmm. appearance when you pull up. Mm -hmm. Not, nice curb appeal Yep. on everything. And then the, the next thing, you can have, you can do all of that you want, but you've got to price your home to sale. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying price it to give it away, but you price it in the market to sale. A lot of people say, I say, well, I think you ought to be listed, just pulling a price out of air, below 150, 149.9. Mm -hmm. Well, let's try it at 170 and see what happens. Maybe somebody will come along and do it. And I go, that's great. Mm -hmm. But the first few days your house is on the market is when we'll get the most hits and the most interest. Mm -hmm. If you're significantly overpriced, people have a tendency not to, to look. Mm -hmm. That's why you need to have a professional that can help you put the proper price on your home and do the proper presentation. Okay, and that proper person, Monty Parman. You have got it right. <laughs> Team Man <laughs> Parman, Parman or any right. of their personnel can do it for you and give you that advice. And at and if you're thinking of selling your home, don't be scared to call because you can call us. We can come out and go over things with you, and it doesn't cost you or obligate you to thing. You don't have to sign anything that day or mm -hmm. pay a fee for that expertise or mm -hmm. pay a fee to, to be given a price opinion of mm -hmm. your home. We're glad to do that. That's what we're there for. You know, we, we want to do that, and then when you sell that you'll come back to us, we'll price your home right, do the little things, and we can put SOLD on it in just a matter of a few days. Uh -huh. That's great. Well, Marty, I know you got other tips as well that we probably haven't touched on today. So if somebody out there is looking for some tips, how can they reach you? Well, they can reach us at, at our office. It's 270-692-2153. Okay. Or they can go to mayandparman.com. Okay. And they can call me and text me anytime. My phone number's pretty simple. Everybody knows 270-402, so let's forget that. It's 11 Seven six one one one, six, one seven, seven six. six. I'm always available. I'll answer a text. I'll get back to you at any time, and I'm always there to, you know, to give my advice and give my okay. opinion. Okay. Now, Monty, um, thank you for your, for your tips today. But I've got one question for you myself. As far as going, we've all seen a lot of different things coming out in our houses nowadays, updates and all kinds of things. What are some things that, or one maybe one item that people are looking for today in a house? It amazes me the way it has changed over the years. Uh, Granite. Granite. Okay. Granite. I mean, it used to be only your high, high end homes people expected granite. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, you know, uh, we're selling some spec homes that are in the 160 to 170 range. They've got granite. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you another thing is bathrooms. Uh, granite takes care of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You know, people are going more and more down away from the traditional oak and cherry and walnut cabinets are going with the painted cabinets, the granite countertops, same in the bathrooms. They're going with the light colors. And they love these new showers. We've got several listed that are <laughs> new and existing where people have torn them out. Mm -hmm. And put in the new modern shower with all the glass and everything in oh, them. Oh, yes. And uh, that's the big thing. And I'll tell you what, but that's money, 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 money. Mm -hmm. That granite maybe when you go to sell but the showers and things it's hard to justify an existing home to do that but if you're going to be there four or five years and resell the home 
why not put it in, enjoy it, and then reap the benefits when mm. you sell. So, you know, that's the time to do it. But like I said, if you're talking about selling your home, the little things, it's just like landscaping, getting out. My mm. wife and I had let our landscaping go for a few years, and we thought it looked great. <laughs> and finally we decided, you know, we've had enough of this, and we jerked it all out and put new in, and we didn't go over the top with the landscaping. But, you know, not just I said it, but other people said it looks like your house got 15 years younger. Wow. And, you know, it just the landscaping was small and compact. We put mm -hmm. in the bright colored mulch, and, you know, we spent some money, but, you know. Yeah, it's amazing, you know, the taller trees and all that. You cut them down a little mm -hmm. bit and have, so you can see your house. And your so house you can see the house. Yeah. And, you know, but when you have that big landscaping, You've gotten used to it. It looks good, uh -huh. and and, you, and, you, and it is hard to take out <laughs> mature landscaping. But that is what people are really looking for, and that's what makes your house pop. Yeah. You know, it's the little things you can do. Some even if you don't want to pay to have all the landscaping put in, if you clean up good, spray out the weeds, and just put mulch around the edges of the house, mm -hmm. little things can make a huge difference. Again, thank you, Monty, for being with us here today. Give us some tips on selling our houses. Uh, again, give us that number where you can be reached. 270-402, and then real easy, 1176, and you can text me, call me, whatever you want, and then don't forget about manpalman.com. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Monty. This has been Yvonne McNeary for Central Kentucky Television.